Welcome back. Just about 645. Dressing for extremely cold weather is all about warmth and comfort. But for those planning on spending an extended period of time outside, layering up may save your life. Destiny Richards is in the studio right now to tell us how cold weather can threaten your health. Frostbite and hypothermia, hypothermia are two conditions that can set in quickly if you're spending time outside in the cold, dressed improperly, and the wind chill is a factor. If you or someone you know is taking a morning walk, working outside, or has any outdoor plans in these frigid temperatures, here's what you need to know. Let's start by talking about frostbite which according to ready.gov is the freezing and loss of feeling and color around the face, fingers, and toes. The signs of frostbite to look out for are numbness, white or grayish yellow skin, and firm or waxy skin. Actions to take if frostbite sets in, go to a warm room and soak the affected areas in warm water. Your body heat needs to warm you up. Do not massage or use a heating pad. Hypothermia is basically when your body's warming system fails. If you drop below 95 degrees in body temperature, it's an emergency. Signs to look out for are shivering, exhaustion, confusion, fumbling hands, memory loss, slurred speech, or drowsiness. The first action you should take with hyperthermia is calling 911. Until emergency personnel come, a person with hypothermia should be carefully taken to a warm room. Warm the center of the body first, Stay dry and wrapped in warm blankets if possible. Avoid frostbite and hypothermia. Be aware of the wind chill in your area and dress for it. Drink warm fluids, but it's recommended that you avoid caffeine and alcoholic beverages. When you're outside, stay active to maintain your body heat. Take breaks from the cold as much as possible. And if you feel frostbite or hypothermia setting in, go inside immediately. The best way to stay warm would be to stay inside. But if you need to be out this week, this is your best way to stay warm and stay safe. Reporting in studio, Destiny Richards, 4 News Now.